Hey guys, we're doing another vlog today. Getting one in over the weekend to give you guys some more content. Uh, we're gonna be going to the vet on Monday with Dell and Max, so stay tuned for that. We'll talk about uh, egg-related issues and stuff like that. But today, we are getting Frappuccino by Tegu, his first fuzzy. Uh, he is ready to upgrade from pinkies. Uh, he's growing very big, so uh, I'm excited to see how he responds to this since he loves his pinkies. Uh, so we're at my local reptile store. I'll get some quick montage shots, but I don't want to get too much content here. I am hoping in the future to like do a tour in here with the guys, so uh, uh, stay tuned for that also. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll go in there real quick, and then I'm going to show off my daily routine. So, uh, you know, how I water down the Aki enclosures and stuff like that. So stay tuned for this vlog. If you like this stuff, comment down below, leave a like, and subscribe. Alright, so we got Frappuccino his fuzzies. I got about four of them. I think I'm only gonna give them about one a week. I don't know if I should give them more. I'm gonna do more research into that. But I started out with just a couple since I'm sorta of new to giving them fuzzies. Alright, before we go ahead and give Frappuccino my Tegu his first fuzzy, I am gonna soak down my Aki's enclosures. If you saw my Aki Monitor Care Guy, you would know that I soak them down weekly uh, with about two these jugs of water uh, and it usually holds the humidity pretty well throughout the week so I'm gonna do that real quick and clean their bowls all right so I wash down uh, Dell's bowl or water bowl I usually just use some light soap and water put it back in here and then now like I said I'll take one of these jugs fill it in a watering can do half the enclosure and then do the same thing with another jug for the other half Alright, so I cleaned out Aces' bowl and now we're going to water down his enclosure. Both Aces and Dell will be getting some doobie roaches today. Since it's their feeding day, I feed them every other day. So I'm going to throw them in there for uh, Aces right now. Before I give some doobie roaches to Dell, look how many water droplets have started to form already on Dell's enclosure. It's probably been, I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes. This is a good sign of a well sealed enclosure. Speaking of well sealed enclosures, look at how well sealed this enclosure is. I wake up every morning to the glass just being totally fogged out with water droplets. This holds humidity super well. Alright guys, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Let's see how Frappuccino reacts to his first fuzzy. Of course, right down the hatch, like I thought. All right, so before we go ahead and give Frappuccino the rest of his food today, I'm gonna clean out his bath and his water bowl. All right guys, we're gonna feed Frappuccino. I love how Frappuccino acts when I feed him. Watch. He just knows that this bean here means food. Look at him. Look how curious he is. It's funny. Even this equates with food. He knows it's food time. Sometimes he'll knock it over even before I get to putting the calcium in there. One sec. Watch. He gets so ecstatic when I finally swirl it. <laughs> right here. There we go. Tegus are just so fun to own. They really are sort of the lizard version of dogs. Um, 
obviously, you know, you can't really just like be calling all over them and stuff. But just how they act and respond, they have these really unique personalities. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That are just really funny. Frappuccino has grown so big, so fast. I know I already compared him in a previous video to what he looked like right after he came out of brumation, but it's just astounding. Go uh, go check out, I think it's my update video on my Tegu's, Aki's, and Bearded Dragon where I covered that, but it's just, it's so, it's so cool to see how much he's transformed. The coolest part about him growing his size is that he just gets whiter and whiter, and I really like that. Uh, he still has some green a little bit on his on his back and on the top of his head which I think is gonna turn really white so I'm excited to see how white he gets. For those of you who have a Tegu in the comments let me know how big you let your Tegu get before you start letting him do some free roaming. I really haven't let him done some true free roaming. I have like had him out and run around from time to time but nothing too prolonged. Um, just because uh, you know Tegus are infamous for finding tight places and then, um, you know, going in them. So uh, I'm a little worried about that since he's still a little small. So uh, when did you guys, if you had a Tegu or had a Tegu, uh, start letting your Tegu do some more free roaming and not be too worried about them getting lost or whatever? Okay, now we're gonna feed and spray down my Doobie Roach colonies. I sprayed them down yesterday, so it means it's probably feeding time today. And you can see inside of there, that they don't have much left, so it is. I'm gonna be giving them some leftover mustard greens. Throw that in there, throw that in there. And I'm gonna be giving them leftover kale. Got a bunch of leftover kale. I just got some new fresh kale, so that's why I'm giving them so many, but what I found is I started adding a lot more um, greens to their diet, and they just love them. Uh, a lot of people say that uh, uh, they go crazy for oranges, which I'm also going to be giving them. But uh, these guys, they just they go crazy for the greens. The oranges don't really get eaten that fast. But yeah, I'm going to throw in some oranges. And trust me, like this looks like a lot of food, I know. Uh, I do have pretty big colonies at this point for both of these enclosures. This was the original, but this got so big I made that one, so now I have two full colonies. Uh, but yeah, they'll, they'll go right through this. All right, now I'm gonna spray them down. Currently, this is how I give them their water. I give it through their food, through their greens, and I also spray down their enclosure. This is also good because they like a little bit of humidity, so spraying it down once a day or two is, is not bad for them. All right, I just filled up Max's water bowl in the back, and I gave her some greens. You can see them back there. I gave her some collard greens and endives and a little bit of butternut squash. Uh, she did have collard greens and endives yesterday, um, but I have a little bit more endives than I would like because I've been trying to get Tortellini off of that. Uh, we're gonna give Tortellini some food too real quick. Um, but yeah, so uh, she'll be good. I'll mix it up tomorrow. But let's give her some roaches since this is also her roach day. As you guys know, Max is not a big salad eater, uh, but she sure does love her roaches. And remember guys, when you're feeding your uh, bearded dragon, you don't want to give him anything bigger than what's between, <laughs> she thinks I have a roach, uh, between the eyes there. Um, slightly bigger is fine, um, but if it's significantly or noticeably, bigger than what's between her eyes, the space between it, I would not give it to them. We are also gonna spray Max in the face so she can have a little bit of a drink and stay hydrated. Oh, got it right in the eye there, sorry Max. She usually doesn't like to drink. <laughs> sorry, this new spray bottle is just, I don't know, it's not working. Not working as well, oh my God. Let's try now. She usually doesn't drink right after she eats. Maybe she'll prove me wrong. No? All right, so we got a little bit of a treat for tortellini real quick. I'm gonna give him some butternut squash, just a couple chunks. So let's get him over here. Come here, tortellini. As for what I'm gonna give tortellini as his actual main meal, I'm just gonna give him a mix of some baby greens. 
which he will probably not eat at all because he is on a strike unless it's uh, endives, like I said. So I'll give him that. I'll leave the butternut squash in there for a little bit. I don't want him really eating this whole thing, um, but I don't mind if he eats a little bit more. So I'll keep an eye on him, leave him in here, let him explore and maybe eat a little bit more of uh, those butternut squashes. So that's the video for today. Just wanted to do a little daily routine video. Uh, this is pretty much my uh, like big day each week for routines. I have to do like pretty much everything, so I thought I'd film it. But anyway, stay tuned for Monday. We'll be going to the vet with Dell and Max. Check up on some possible eggs uh, or whatever's going on. So uh, we'll check in then. All right, guys. Thanks.